All right, so today we're gonna to be talking about Audience ID44 MK2, which is the most recent version of this particular interface. I've been using it here in the studio for quite some time, specifically with all of this gear over here. I have been testing it via ADAT ports, expanding the IO to it, additional 8 IO using Arturia Audio's X8 in and X8 out, and have been incorporating all of these various 500 pieces as well as this STAM Audio uh, 1178 Plus. So I've done a lot of testing with it. I've used it in and out. I've recorded a lot of things through it, uh, utilizing both the microphone preamps as well as the guitar direct in, as well as bass direct in, and everything like that. So I feel like today I'm in a good position to be able to give you an honest opinion of what I like about it and where I think they could make some improvements. Now this unit has a lot going for it, it truly does. It really packs a punch at this particular price range. There are four microphone preamps. The first two have a send and return in case you wanna do insert a piece of analog outboard gear into the recording chain as you're recording. And if you wanna bypass the first two mic preamps, you can simply just go in out of your own mic preamp, the output of it, into the return of the back of whatever channel you're gonna use, whether one or two, and you can completely bypass any of the mic preamps and get a pristine sound that way. You also have two uh, quarter inch uh, inputs on the front of it you can use for guitar or for bass that's properly set up for the right ohms and everything for that. And when you plug into here, it bypasses the preamps on the back. In addition to that, it has four outputs. So you could run two sets of monitors as, as an example, or you could run one set of monitors and two mono pieces of outboard gear via hardware insert if you're just using this alone. It has two sets of ADAT IO on it. Now that is what is really compelling about this. It's a future expandability. So where you've got four in and four out here, if you were to expand that, you could take that up to 20 inputs in and out by adding, whether it's using these or various other manufacturers, adding an additional 16 IO to it via ADAT. That really opens up everything for you when you don't need that, you don't need that, but when you just wanna utilize this, then you can scale it down to this particular format. It also has word clock on the back of it and it takes USB-C. Now on the front of it, you know, you've got the controls that you expect to see. Of course, you've got your input trim, you've got a high pass filter, you have 48 volt uh, phantom, and you have a 10 dB pad. Over here, you of course have the, vo you know, the monitor section for your, or the volume section for your output for your monitors, and you can choose this as a monitor controller as well, utilizing these buttons up here. Over here, you have two independent headphone outputs. That's another strong feature of this particular interface. And one of them even actually includes an eighth inch mini in there. So in case you forgot your little adapter that converts from eighth inch mini to quarter inch balanced, ultimately you can just go straight in with that. It's, you don't see that in very many interfaces, so it's nice that they've kind of added that. The volume of the headphones is very loud. You get plenty of output. It can drive any set of headphones. So I found it to be, I found the headphone amplifiers in it to be very, very, very good. I think I said before it is USB-C. You have some assignable buttons over here as well as a talkback mic. Now I would like to see a lot more options available for assignment of these buttons and maybe that'll be done in future firmware updates later on. I strongly encourage uh, audience to consider really expanding what exactly you can do with these buttons. It really just makes it even more compelling. And of course you've got your metering right here. So as far as interfaces go, it's pretty straightforward, but it's heavily feature packed and you really get a lot for it for the price of this particular interface. You know, there's a lot of competition in this price range and I would say the conversion on this, uh, from my experience, and I've not used every interface out there, so you kind of kind of have to take this with a grain of salt. But uh, at the end of the day, I think it's a fantastic interface and I think it competes strongly and I do mean strongly in its price range. One of the things that I found in using uh, ADAT expansion on this is the control system where you go to adjust things. I had some problems initially that I thought maybe it was a faulty unit, but ultimately it wasn't. I just didn't know where to go to be able to set the clock for expanding via ADAT because there's really two different locations. And so I think you need to make that a little bit more clear in your manual. Of course, when they told me exactly what it was, I went into it and fixed it immediately. You can tell it to clock either via SPDIF or ADAT. So yes, you can convert. You can use one of the ADAT inputs uh, via SPDIF if you want to. Of course, you're only gonna get two IO with that, so you're gonna lose the other six. 
but you can do that if you choose to do it. If you've got a support available and you need to connect something, I should say, via Spit. If as an example, I've got a Kemper back over there that I use for my guitars and everything like that. And so I go into my recording interface via Spit if via that way. So there's a lot of other options for Spit if, but anyway, you've got that flexibility if you want it. I found the drivers on this to be quite solid. I didn't have any issues with drivers driver-wise. I felt the latency on it was certainly reasonable considering its price range. Uh, you know, and I so I think when you compare it to that, I think it holds its own just about against any other competitor when it comes to that in this particular price range. So it had no problems with their drivers. Where I will complain is that the control app for this is stuck in like 1922. I'm exaggerating, right? But come on, audience. This is 2024. You need to do a, you need to create a more graphically appealing and user intuitive uh, interface uh, via the computer as an example so that you can really see what's available. I found it to be quite archaic and didn't really quite like it didn't really have the flexibility that some other vendors do with routing and things like that. It's not limited to per se, but you know there's some other manufacturers out there that take it to a higher level and make it quite easier to understand. A couple of them, I felt like I was back in the days of DOS, and yes, I'm that old. Most of you don't even know what DOS is. That was before Windows. I felt like I was in that to some degree when trying to go through the settings. So I thought that was quite archaic. I encourage you strongly, update that, because people want, you know, they're used to a more visually appealing, you know, more intuitive interface. And it's not that this is absolutely terrible because it's not but it could be so much better. So you're kind of shortchanging yourself somewhat by doing that. Now, would that hold me back from buying this thing? Of course not. That would be absolutely petty and ridiculous. So no, I'm not saying that. So overall, I think this is a very, very, very solid piece of equipment. I think the noise floor was outstanding on it. Uh, the headroom was outstanding on it. I think you know, and again, I'm putting this all into perspective in its price range. Can you get better? You can always get better. Can you get worse? Absolutely, freaking lootly you can get worse. But at the end of the day, this thing is an absolute joy to use. And considering it's it's very feature packed, when it's got the two sets of ADAT, that's very compelling for me. And it's one of the things I strongly encourage all of you out there, if you're looking for an interface, it is worth it to up, update that, you know, to upgrade maybe to the next level and get yourself a two sets of ADAT. You never know where you're going to go in the future. Maybe today, you're not incorporating any analog IO uh, for hardware inserts like I use over here. Maybe you're not doing that today, but maybe you will grow into it. It gives you the ability to expand that. Maybe you need to track beyond four inputs at some point. Maybe you're just a home musician, and then you end up joining a band and you wanna record that band. Well, you can just add additional I.O. via ADAT and you can do that. That's one of the things I like about the Arturia Audio. If you just needed additional eight inputs, but you don't need the outputs, you just buy one of them, right? If you need 16 inputs and maybe eight outputs additionally, then you buy two of the in and two, uh, one of the out as an example. So I know this is about audience, but it, it's really talking about the expandability. And I think these things are very, very important. You always want to think about your future growth. Always, always, always. Now, keep in mind, Okay, I'm going to do my little plug here. You know, one of the ways that I make money on this channel, because you don't make any money off views, if you think so, well, you're dead wrong. Uh, so ultimately, I need to generate other sources of income. So I have a relationship with Sweetwater. As you can see, they provided all of this gear here for me. Now, I do have to send it back for the record. But they provided all this gear so that I can go through these one by one and show you that. Upcoming, you're going to see a mastering uh, video coming out. It really incorporates a STEM audio as well as the West audio. And then of course the uh, big SPL or the SPL big and it got outstanding results. And I'm looking forward to sharing that with you coming up. So look forward to that video. But I have links down below. If you go down and choose that link, whatever you buy from Sweetwater, I'll get a tiny commission. And I do mean it's tiny. And so I get that commission from it. And so it's a way that helps sustain this channel so I can continue to bring videos like this to you. If you're over across the pond, over in Europe, and you happen to deal with Tommen, then I also have a link for them down below as well. And so please do that. If you really appreciate what I do for you, that is one way that you can kind of give back to me because I do work very hard for you. So ultimately all over it, when it's all said and done, how do I feel about this interface? I feel good. 
I feel really good. I think my pet peeves have been minor, whether it's being able to really customize the assignability of those buttons could really open the whole thing up and even make it more compelling. And then ultimately update that graphical user interface and then make it very clear in your manual exactly how you go about the clocking aspects of it because if it's there, I quite frankly missed it. And I wasted about four hours one morning trying to put a video up because I couldn't get one of these units to clock back to it the end of the day is my fault because there was a setting in there to quickly correct that so that is not a fault of audience. However, it took an email for me to know that, right? I had to send them an email and say, hey, I'm having this problem. What do you think? And then he quickly got his tech support in line with me, told me what to check for. I didn't even know that was there. Didn't even think to look at it. It's actually in review for the record. The last place I would ever expect something like that. But regardless, you'd think that would be under settings, <laughs> but it wasn't. So yes, can I recommend this interface? Absolutely. If this fits your needs and you need a 4IO and you want to be able to expand at a later date, you want to have a solid performing unit built like a freaking tank that sounds fantastic, this is a great interface for you and I encourage you to check it out. So do me a favor, leave me some comments down below. If you're using this interface right now, share with the rest of us what your feelings are. Do they match mine or do they even take mine to a newer level? Share that. If you had any problems, then put that down there. Let's talk through that. I think it's important that we discuss these things and take advantage of that via the comment section down there. All I ask is everybody be nice. Don't got to be a jerk, okay? Be nice. Don't go attack somebody. Just be nice, you know? Uh, so anyway, do me a favor. Do that. Don't forget to subscribe, notify, ring that bell, all that stuff. It really helps me continue to bring this content, so I appreciate it if you do that. But until next time, I hope every one of you have a great day. Bye-bye.